It's Friday, June 27th, and it's time for your weekly recap. As you may have noticed, I am not in the usual weekly recap location. That's because Magic Geek is in the process of moving warehouses and video studios, and we're shaking it up a little bit. And whenever we do this, we usually end up finding a bunch of extra magic. And instead of inventorying it all and doing the responsible thing and reselling it, we usually just give it away. As you can see behind me, we've got a bunch of magic. All of this magic is being given away in a mystery box giveaway. How it works is this. You go to magicgeek.com, you place an order, use the coupon code MBOX. That's the letter M as in mystery box. That's gonna get you 5% off your order. Every time you place an order using that coupon code, your name goes into the drawing. At the end, we'll put all the names into a hat, mix them all up. I'm going to pull four names for giant mystery boxes, and then 20 names for consolation grab bags. So at minimum, you're getting 5% off, plus you're getting a chance to win one of four giant mystery boxes and 20 awesome grab bags. There is some amazing stuff up for grabs in this drawing. Some things that I personally think are amazing that are up for grabs are a close-up case, a collapsible top hat, a collector's Cartus Akito coin box, there's a card duck, a gecko, velocity, some larger illusions, classic books, tons of DVDs, close-up pads, self-tying shoelaces, signed posters, and much, much more. So as you can see, there's a ton of really good magic. I'm gonna take all of the magic and equally distribute them uh, between four mystery boxes, which we will give away, and 20 grab bags, which will have like two or three products each in them. Any of that stuff is gonna be great to win, so please, please, please participate in this. All you have to do is place an order and save yourself 5%. Every time you do that, your name goes into the running. Be sure to use coupon code M box. Karu says, hello Chris, I have a question regarding performing for hire. I recently printed out business cards to hand out after showing a few effects. My question, after performing for free for a while, what is a good rate to charge for my services? Thanks. What you charge for a show really depends on what the economic climate is in the area that you are, what other magicians are charging, and what you feel you're worth. So there's a few things you wanna do. The first thing is you wanna be kind of flexible in the beginning to kind of figure out where your price range is going to hit. Try and come up with a, a minimum and a maximum that you feel comfortable charging. Ask for the maximum and then let them know, if, if they are scared away by that, let them know that you're flexible and, and ask them what their budget is. And don't go below your minimum. Just try and stay in that, in that zone that you've set out for yourself. Another thing you can do is call other magicians in the area and ask what they're charging. There's two ways you can go about doing this. The first is to be open about the fact that you're a magician and that you're new to the area. Introduce yourself and tell them that you don't want to undercut their prices. You want to uh, make sure everything's fair and you don't want to take away their, their actual clientele. You just want to keep the playing field nice and even. So, uh, so ask them what they charge so that you can charge accordingly. If that makes you uncomfortable, you can also call as if you are going to hire them, ask what their prices are and what type of show they do, and then you can adjust your prices accordingly there. Today I wanted to talk to you about pyrokinesis. This is a new trick here at Magic Geek from Magic Smith and it is uh, where you take a match, you light it, you blow it out, and then the entire matchbook catches a flame and, and just gets engulfed in a ball of fire. Very cool method on this, uh, pretty safe. Uh, it's not for minors, you do have to be careful. It is real fire, but you're not dealing with a bunch of chemicals and weird things like that. Um, it's easy to do and it looks amazing. I mean, it's, it's a real matchbox that can be examined before and after the effect. Uh, the spectator can blow out the match and have the matchbox or the book of matches uh, ignite. It's, and there are various handlings covered in the DVD to, um, to make it fit your style. I, I really like this. I think it's definitely worth it. It's reusable. Uh, you do supply your own match book but uh, the gimmick that, that is supplied is reusable. As with all 
of the Magic Smith stuff. It's extremely well made, very clever. Uh, you definitely want to check this out. It is called Pyrokinesis, and you can get it at magicgeek.com. Zach says, you said you read every comment. Did you read this one? Yes. Martial Magic 888, in deceptive practices by Ricky J. Do you learn magic, or is it just like a biography? Parentheses, on a completely unrelated side note, do you think Ricky J looks like King Henry the Eighth? Had a little hard time there with uh, Roman numerals. Yeah, that's an eight, I know. Um, he does kind of look like him in those old paintings. If he dressed up in the garb, he could totally play him in a movie and or uh, a play. That DVD is a documentary. It is about him and about how he performs and, and where his inspiration comes from. So it's, you're not gonna learn how to do magic there, but you will learn a lot about uh, the thought process and the rehearsal process that goes into being a magician. So um, it's a good movie, but it's not it's not like an instructional DVD. Once again, I want to remind you to use that coupon code MBOX and get your name into the running for one of the four mystery boxes and 20 grab bags, plus getting yourself 5% off your entire order. That coupon code is going to expire at 11.59 p.m. on Monday. So you have from today, through Monday to get your orders in and get your name in the runnings for all of this amazing magic. Next week, I wanna to talk to you guys about levitating objects. So we can talk about the gimmicks, we can talk about what types of things you can levitate, we can talk about uh, technique, uh, put your questions in the comment section down below here on YouTube or on Twitter, Facebook, or the Magic Geek blog, and I will answer them on the next weekly recap.